It's Rick Hayes, Hey Zero. We get a lot of inquiries about how do you take these apart and put them back together for transport. We just completed this plane. We're going to take it apart and put it in a trailer and it's headed back home to Connecticut. So I'll try to do my best to show you how it goes apart and just the reverse to put it back together again. Thanks for watching. Okay, you're going to have a little background noise here with the furnace running. Start by putting some weight in the seat. That'll keep from flipping over when you remove the tail. Tend to be a little tail heavy with the bigger engines on and when you remove the tail uh, maybe you tend to see tip back so make sure you have some ballast stuff in the front before you start taking things apart. Okay these gentlemen are heading back to Connecticut with this aero light they just finished building here at the shop at Hayes Aero in Michigan. We're getting ready to take it apart and put it in their trailer. First thing we need to do is release all the cables for the elevators and the rudders. We'll coil all them all, all up. We'll cut the zip ties to hold those cables. And it's a matter of three bolts to remove the tail. One on each side upper tail boom, and one on the bottom. And before we do that, we're also gonna remove the horizontal stabilizers and elevators. That's done by removing these lift struts here, the bolt here, and the two bolts to attach it to the vertical fin. They'll be removed. These tubes will fold down and fold up against that bottom tail boom. And these two booms here, tail booms, will fold in together. And everything will be separated from the fuselage cage, and then we'll remove the wings. Here in the process of removing the horizontal stabilizers, and we can leave the elevators attached. And we can attach those lift struts to the tubes on the tail. Now protect them during transport. Finishing up removal of the tail. The upper tubes have been removed. I'm pulling the bolt out of the lower tube. That's ready to be packed away in the trailer. And next we'll remove the wings. Hey, when you're disconnecting the wings, make sure you pull the flap cables out. And also pull the aileron cables back through the conduit in the wing. what he's doing here. He's releasing the flat cables. You don't have to take the cable mount off. Just the quick connect off the ball and that's all that's required. The cable's attached to the wing. That's on the flaps. Okay, we've removed the control surfaces, they are on the flaps. Next step will be to drop the wings. Okay, we're removing the lift struts. Going to put the hardware back on so it don't get misplaced. 
drop both lift struts and then we're ready to remove the wing. Okay, the lift struts have been removed. We've got the wings set on some saw horses. Gonna disconnect the lift struts from the fuselage. Put the hardware back in so everything's together. All that's remaining now is to remove the two bolts from the wings. This panel can be put in the trailer. It'll, it'll help when you're taking things apart. You can use one of these cargo bars that will help support the wing while you're pulling the lift struts out. Sometimes uh, when it's a little hard to pull a bolt out, if you use a socket and a drill, that'll help back the bolt out of there a little easier than trying to wrench it out. Again, putting the hardware back in so it's easy to find when you reassemble. Yep. All that's left to do on these is to pull the four bolts out of the wings and the wings can be removed. Okay, we brought the wings in, hanging on the walls. Put a couple pillows in behind, they're just a cheap Walmart pillow, a couple bucks a piece. Pillow at the bottom. Pillow at the top, that's just to keep all your control linkages from hitting the wall. Just get a strap up on the top. So down the hooks we install on the floor and the bottom. And that's gonna hold everything tight against the wall. Everything should travel pretty good like that. Now if you want, you can leave the ailerons flaps on, but the problem putting it in with the flat side against the wall, you've got the control horns on the flaps, the ailerons, they have a chance coming in to hit the wall. So in this case here, we're just going to wrap them in blankets and put them on the floor. ready to bring the uh, fuselage card in. Um... Okay, we've got the wings in, cart's all tied down, and we're just protecting the prop a little bit off the ceiling with some pillows. All your control surfaces, lift struts and tubing. They're all wrapped in cargo blankets. Uh, it's just cargo blankets from uh, Harbor Freight. A few more things to wrap up and put in here. And they'll be ready to go. We got most everything in the trailer here. Tail assembly's on the floor. We'll wrap that up in some blankets. It should ride pretty well like that. We'll 
Go ahead.